<sighs> well, it's still the fast is over. Um, it ended today. I went to my orientation and it went went very well. But I've been out of sorts all day. And I didn't help things by coming home and just eating anything I wanted to. And I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep into the fourth as long as I can sleep. I hope I'm asleep for 12 hours. I'm taking a break. Um, so it all started yesterday with working way too hard in the yard in the middle of a fast and I worked about uh, six seven hours in the yard in about 90 degree heat and that pretty much kicked my ass and I got up this morning I was trying to not drink any sugar stuff but as you've seen in the clip before this I just couldn't go and I had to go to orientation I had to impress them that I was at least alive and I wound up so nervous that I got to sleep at 11 got up at 3 30 in the morning I was going to do my exercise and when I got up I was feeling so bad so I went ahead and I drank some grape and apple juice and I started feeling a little bit better after about two hours but, but where I had to go is a uh, hundred miles through the worst traffic area in America through Washington DC north up towards Baltimore and even though it's a weekend you never know with the roads around here if you've got to get somewhere you never know that's part of the pressure of having a job around here is you never know you could be the most wonderful employee in the world, but the farther you live away from your job, it's like a freaking gun pointed at your temple. And you get up and, you know, your job is showing you that, uh... What are you doing, Pooper? Here. How are you doing? Unless you walk away. Fuck it, let's see how far we get. How about that? I'm gonna put my pants on. I was not intending to do this. We'll plug it in so the batteries don't run out. Never know. I'm about half sick to my fucking stomach. If I throw up here, just ignore it, okay, folks? I can tell you this. I used to really like Little Caesars, and it's not their fault. It, it, let me first off be very clear it's not their fault. They make a great bargain pizza, and they make great bargain wings. God darn it. How stupid can I be to go down there and get me a damn pizza from them when the guy down the end of the street makes a real pizza? Stupid. 
I could get me, I could have got me a meat's pizza with onions on it. I'd feel a hundred times better than I feel right now. That's on me. That's not on Little Caesars. Little Caesars makes the same pizza they've always made. Not their fault. All right, you little bag of fur. You got me out here, okay? Thank you, little monkey. I got another 15 minutes. It's about 11.45 on June 3rd, Monday, June 3rd, 2023. I got a workout to do. I got a wonderful little cat here in my shoe. My good little luck charm. She is feeling a little bit better. Her, her ears look a lot better. Yes, she do. Never thought that Friskies would do that to a cat. Yeah. <coughs> Something in her Friskies food. She was really really uh, uh, allergic to. I don't know what it was. And the same thing with the Friskies food that it was with the uh, Fancy Feast food. Anything with beef gravy in it, she won't eat it. So I don't know what they're doing with that. That must be some really crap food. What are you doing, Flip Tail? Oh, good. I'm going to squeeze. Don't, don't come over here. No, I'll do it. I got I got the exercise. You come over one last time so I can squeeze you, little monster. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Thank you. Man, I am about half sick in the stomach. Oh, we're gonna get through this. I'm just about to walk away from this exercise. <coughs> Might wind up with a pile of puke on my carpet after before it's done. But we're going to give it a shot. Sick to the stomach. Feeling bad. It was hot all day today. Every time I went out today, when I went to that job today, man, the air was super crappy. Not just hot, it was humid, hard to breathe. I went into their office and I was waiting in there. I was happy to be in there. Their AC was nice. They're nice people. Just the whole office is nice. Very welcoming, very smart HR people, and an AT, an IT guy that is really brilliant. Just like the other IT guy they still have, which I found out was just wonderful. So. Then I gotta come home and I got me a bowl of, uh, I got me a can of progressive pot roast soup and two pieces <coughs> of uh, multi gram bread with cheese on it, melted that in the microwave and made sort of a bowl of pot roast soup. And that, and that was okay. That was okay. Then the downhill slide started. I had a uh, piece of uh, Danish pastry in there, cheese Danish pastry in there I ate, which did not help. Did not help at all. Then I followed up with this garbage I bought down at Little Caesars. I bought uh, pepperoni pizza with their uh, marinara sauce and their garlic butter. And their garlic butter, it tastes good, but man, it's made of some of the most fucking toxic oil you ever fucking eat. And that's, and this is all on me. This ain't on Little Caesars. I'm not, I'm not throwing them under the bus. They do what they do, and they do it well. You know, they, they have cheap pizza, they have it prepared, ready for you a bunch of time, and they do a good job. So, God bless them. I'm just not, I'm in a situation now, I guess I'm going to have to just start eating apples and oranges and oatmeal and grits and cream of wheat. 
classic old man food. <laughs> okay, let's get on our back and get this motherfucker done. How about that? Come on. Let's do this. God darn it. Individual knee lifts, 20. Double D list, 20. Individual straight leg lifts, 20. Double straight leg lift, 20. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Try up crush 20.
push-ups. Never get so out of shape and get trapped on the floor. Please exercise enough so you never get trapped on the floor. Throw slow, slow. Twenty. Watch, watch out for your knees. 20.
Thank you, Lord, for letting me get through this. Please always be with me. I love you, Juan, and I miss you. I'm going to write this down in my book. I will say my prayer, which for me is Psalm 143. But all the psalms are great. Please find a workout that works for you and do it every day. Please do not drink Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi or any diet sodas. They're filled with aspartame, which is a poison. Splenda Circulose is another poison that's in a lot of energy drinks. Both of these poisons will attack your stomach and your brain. They'll make any depression you're suffering a million times worse. And may also make you so sick from the depression you may kill yourself. Please look at your food ingredients list. Read them, and if you see Splenda Sucralose or Aspartame, just don't buy that product. Somebody came in to say goodbye. What? What? What are you doing? What are you complaining about? Huh? Need some shoes to rub? Huh? You're silly. If you get close, I'm going to squeeze you. Don't you get close to me because I'm going to squeeze you. So I feel a lot better now than I did when I started to work out. I feel good because I finished it. I feel a lot less nauseated than I did when I started. Good lesson in all this to me about eating garbage. I just can't eat garbage. I can eat good food, I can eat mashed potatoes and gravy, I can eat hamburgers that are good hamburgers. I can eat good food. I just can't eat cheap food. Awesome. What are you doing? <laughs> Today was a rough day. It was a real good day. But I made it a lot rougher on myself than I had to. But at least I didn't get that empty space in my calendar where I missed the workout. And so that's a blessing direct from God. And my little knucklehead here helped too. When she came in at the beginning of the exercise, like she was saying, okay, Daddy, I know what you want, what you're gonna do. Let's go to work. Let's go exercise, right? Right, pumpkin? Right? <laughs> that little monster. That is little monster. Alright. <laughs> little mess. What are you hitting me in the back of your tail for? Mm -hmm. Alright folks. Well, you saw it. I did get it done. <sighs> Thank you to the good Lord. It's uh now it's Tuesday, June 4th. July, oh, Tuesday, July 4th, I'm sorry. Happy Independence Day, America. It's uh, 12, 10 a.m. in the morning. I could go back down here on this floor and do July 4th exercise, but I won't do that. I gotta do something about my stomach first. So, anyway, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have a happy and joyful July 4th. I hope you'll be able to spend it with your friends and your family and have some good times and uh, everybody gets however loose they want to get and nobody gets embarrassing and you all have some great memories. But watch out for how hot it is out there because man I gotta tell you the heat today and the heat yesterday especially man that beat the shit out of me and that was my fault. You can be in hot weather. You just have to pace yourself. I always now, the way I am now is, when I get in the heat, 
and I'm going to be like this forever now. I got to wear a long sleeve shirt uh, and I got to wear a hat. No exposed arm skin. My arms are completely burnt to a crisp. I mean, you can't see it on this video, but I got sun poisoning on both arms. I mean, I, I literally drove home from Baltimore today. I, I managed to find a pink towel in the back of the car that I was using to cover stuff up with. And I put that across my arm that I put out the window because I ain't got no AC in my car, so I got to keep my windows down. But I like, I, you know, all my life I've had no AC. All my life my cars are broke, but then one first thing that broke was the AC. Every car I ever had. All of them. So, I don't mind rolling the window down, but now i got to be real careful about the sun. i got to be real careful about the sun. So, anyway, I made it through the exercise. Um, I feel a lot better. I'm still nauseated. I'm probably going to go in here and take a nice, long shower. See what that does for me. Go to sleep. Or I might just go to sleep first. I don't know. Anyway, have a wonderful fourth. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, God be with you in peace.